G'day guys, I'm Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn how to make a quick scene in Blender 2.5 Alpha 2 and render it in Octane Render. Octane Render is a fully GPU unbiased 3D renderer, which means it lives on the graphics card, which means we get photorealistic images fast, really fast. Okay, so first open up Blender, press 7, 5, and delete the cube, press Shift A, plane, press S, then 10, then S, X. S, Y, and make it a bit more like a rectangle. I'm suggesting you know the basics of Blender and 2.5, so um, I'll still be saying some of the shortcut keys, but I might forget. Alright, so press Tab, Z, A, and select these, and extrude these out. Sorry if you can't see the mouse, by the way. I do not know how to do that for some reason. It's not working, but sorry if you can't see the mouse. Press E again, and extrude these edges, faces, um, press A, so all the faces are selected, press K, now while still pressing down K, move it down, move a line down, press A two times again, and bring that mouse down, alright, so just line these lines up here, there we are, alright, now, select these faces, by pressing shift then the right mouse button press uh, E stop midway um, press shift and deselect the, um, the middle face press E again then press E again and make it a bit more smaller alright now I'll go back to the vertex select press A and I want you to join these by selecting that vertice, press shift and select that vertice and press F. Now select the top vertices and press F. And do the same with these, with this one here. Uh, you don't have to do the back one for simplicity's sake. I'm not going to do it, but I am going to do it here to make it much more better. But I'm not going to do it for that one because that's not going to be in frame. Okay, so where, where are we? Alright, so now that we have a oh, do the roof, so go back to the face select, press 1 and E, and make the roof there. Alright, so now that we have a model room, um, just make this a bit more aligned and everything, a bit, a bit more smaller, not too much. Alright, time to unwrap our geometry. Alright, so press B and select only the wall and ceiling, don't select the ground so press P and select press tab 1 and you want to give these oh well, hang on what happens oh yeah that's good hang on yeah no mind alright so we have uh, with your wall selected go to the materials or shaders tab select new and call it white room and uh, select the floor and call it wood texture. Now press 7, tab A and with all the faces selected press U and project from view. And press tab and now that the geometry is unwrapped we can now put textures on it in Octane. Now it looks like I've selected that when I but I haven't. Okay. Cool. Now press file, export an OBJ. Now listen up, okay? And you listen up here because it will save you a lot of crashing and a lot of other stuff. So unselect edges and select triangulate. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do here. And yeah, so um, I want you to call it uh, room for octane. What do you want to call it? Um, press export OBJ and open up Octane up, which I have here. Uh, hang on. Yeah. Okay. Um, press, so right click, add object mesh, and go to desktop and go to where you saved it. I saved it here. And click on the node editor. And look at that. If you want to know how to move around and all of the other advanced to to the simple to advanced stuff, there's already some tutorials out there. I'll give you a link to them. So. Uh